Hi, this is Manmad. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's topic is proper handling of IK frozen shrimps. And what is the packing method? So packing method means if you maintain consistent glaze, adequate glaze means 12 to 14 percent glaze, consistent glaze is more important because if glaze is above 14 means 15 or 16 good but master cut and bulging will come our master cut measurements mostly based on 13 percent or 14 percent glaze so consistent glaze is more important what happen if more glaze master cut and bulging will come so chances of damage will occur deform will occur once you stop the master cut one by one so that we have to avoid and if less glaze is there then master cut and gap also there after taping after packing the primary pouches in the master cut and, and taping one inch or two inch gap might be there inside the master cut and. so that one inch or two inch gap space occupies by atmospheric air so which will interact with the air which is present inside the pouches so less amount of air might be there during sealing so that is also leads to the facilitate the freezer burn when temperature abuses and one more thing the sealing mechanism also packaging method means how we are sealing properly sealing also will injure the good quality of the material if improper sealing also leads to the exposure of exchange of gases and vapor in and out which may lead to the freezer burn then the second step is shifting of frozen product once final packed into the cold storage so generally in packaging material section after freezing or hardening so packaging material section uh, temperature might be for example temperature is plus 20 degree centigrade plus 20 degree centigrade if one pallet will take time of 15 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour even after assembling the full pallet if the time is plus 20 degree temperature 30 minutes is enough to melt the surface outer layer of the master cotton and surface of the material gradually will melt at plus 20 degree centigrade half an hour is enough even in the package middle room and whereas in ante room also most of the temperature might be plus 8 degree centigrade or plus 10 degree centigrade for example if you keep more than one hour that also leads to the melting of outer layer of master cartons exposed to the atmospheric air surface of the slabs or surface of the shrimps will get melt once the surface of the material gets melt then it will form the recrystallization in cold storage it will take 48 hours in IK freezing small granules ice crystals will form within the cell once the handling delay then the metamorphosis will occur ice crystal size of the ice crystal will change shape of the ice crystal will change orientation of ice crystals will change finally within the cells the ice crystals are formed no then the with out of the cell also big ice crystals will form it will damage the cell wall in such a condition if you keep in the cold sore damaged cell walls due to big ice crystals it will easily extract the moisture from the frozen slabs so during the humidity fluctuations relative humidity fluctuations then the moisture will get evaporate that is called desiccation desiccation means dehydration nothing but and sublimation means in the frozen state the material gets evaporate without turn to the water so the sublimation is the process will take place so this is how the second step shifting to the cold storage immediately after final pack without delay it should be within the 10 minutes will give the good quality good appearance no color changes will occur then the third step is container loading before starting the container loading you have to verify the lot properly available or not all the grades easily available way you have to arrange in the 
cold storage then before loading the container container pre cooling is very important pre cooling at least container should reach minus 10 degree centigrade minus 10 degree centigrade container temperature once reaches then container should come nearer to the loading dock there should not be any air gaps so the container should completely touches to the loading dock better if possible only open the one door of the container and another door will be in the closure condition and a loading container stuffing also if you can finish one hour 30 minutes maximum the product quality will be very good so container loading you have to finish as much as possible so partly loading if doing half of the container loading and again plugging again after sometimes again loading that you have to avoid finish one time loading and maximum loading time should be one and a half hour pre-cooling container should get minus 10 degree centigrade then the product also will be good and circulation you have to maintain on the drop as per the requirements height there should be the gap you have to maintain the gap on the top and both the sides and bottom also might be there bottom is there pallets with gaps are there so you have to ensure that and before sending to the port also once the container after loading completes and you put the plug point once the container reaches minus 20 degree centigrade then only the container you have to release so the product release then only the container will goes to the shipyard this is the third step then the fourth step is unloading at destination and warehouse temperature or transit control during end route monitoring we have to do the end route monitoring also we have to put the data logger both the ends of the container and end route temperature also once it reaches to the end, end destination we have to collect the data also from the importer and if required we have to collect the data from importers destination importer warehouse data also manufacturer as well as importer both of them are responsible for freezer burn or dehydration or desiccation or sublimation so these are the precautionary measures so while unloading or while loading or cold storage management or handling management if they will maintain then the product self life also will be minimum 24 months as per the validation study that's all about the video friends in our part 3 video we will discuss about seafood cold storage management thank you for watching my video if you like the video click the like symbol and subscribe my channel for regular updates. Bye.